Now, I am on full alert when you're making plans about facilities that I have to go to for patient care. And I am not okay with people who don't need them or depend on them for their health care to be making plans about uh, changing it to CBOX, which is community-based outpatient clinic, if you don't know, uh, satellites. All of these, to me, are supplemental, additional forms of care. They shouldn't be replacing a full-scale, full-service hospital. Now, from what I understand, and from what my research has shown me, there are seven states that is under the proposal now that they're looking at, and a total of 17 VA medical center hospitals that they've already decided will be the ones that they will shut down. That is significant. That will impact our veterans significantly. That is going to cause absolute chaos and, and a lot of hardship for veterans. And I'm just concerned because every time there's some kind of planning that's for veterans, for senior citizens, people on disability, people on retirement, disabled, fixed income, pensions, you know, we seem to be the go-through people to get things fixed. And, you know, we can't always be the people that is selected to fix a budget, balance, or, or economical disaster. We can't cure the world's problems. We cannot help you with any uh, overseas wars, crises. We've done our part. We served the country. We didn't serve it in bits and pieces like CBOX and satellites. We served in full capacity, signed our life on the line. Now we come out expecting as our ancestors before us and every veteran before us and every era before us that when we got out, we would have facilities that had previously been like this one here, Salem VA Medical Center, and all these other VA medical centers that had been designated for us to go to to get our health care. Now all of a sudden, with all these other things going on, in the middle of a pandemic, all of the hospitals are pretty much full to capacity, are struggling. This is when you decide that you're looking at shutting down our VA hospitals? Surely you jest with that. So I, my, I challenge our leaders, our politicians, our legislators to go back to these boardrooms and come up with a better course of action.